Hi, I'm Manu and welcome to the Dress by Craft YouTube channel. I have a very pretty project to share with you today but before we start, subscribe to our channel and do not miss to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. So we will be learning to make this pretty photo frame using the newly launched collection called Mini Move by Dress by Craft. I hope you like the project and let's start. So this mini move paper pack is what I will be using to make this photo frame. Along with that I have a panel which measures 6 by 16 inches approx and I have covered it with the uh, white paper. I will also be needing the dies to make the shaker card. So let's start with the shaker card and learn how to make a perfect shaker. I will also be sharing a little technique of mine that I use so that I, do, I get a perfect shaker and there is no mess in it. So I am um, putting a circle die cut on the base cardstock and then I will be using my foam tape and tape it down on the cutting mat and then I would be using my knife to make straight lines because I need a very small uh, size of the double sided tape and I don't want to make a mess so what I do is I get perfect equal size double sided tape if I use this method and it becomes a little easy and you don't have to sit and cut through the double sided tape. So glue it onto the cutting mat and then use your knife or any of your cutter to make long and make them cut in properly. Also I need a thick layer of my foam tape so I will be layering two layers of foam tape on top of each other so that I get good thickness and uh, all my beads can be moved, they can move easily around inside the shaker element. the new uh, shaker elements to be inserted into my shaker card but before that I will add a little picture of a cute girl over there and I am using the fruity the lemon shakers and I am using the play cards over here and the stars these are all the newly launched sequence uh, shaker elements from dress my craft and I really love this one that has the small beads because these beads do not have you know they are full beads and I pretty much love them so the next thing you would be needing is a, an acetate sheet of the same size and on top you would need another die cut to make it perfect so if you have anything extra just drop it off So I've already made two other elements, the shaker elements and I'm really loving them both. So let's select the pattern paper that we would be using from the paper pack. I am taking this pink pattern paper and a little green because I want to give it a little uh, pastel effect for this creation of mine. My panel measures um, somewhere around 6 by 16 inches because each of the shaker element is 4 inch so I need a little space between each plus I need a little space at the ends of the first and the third one I know it is quite a little big but I really loved making this one so to give a little teary effect to your paper you can use your scissors or you can use this thing holds uh, I am using the scissors over here and you can take your scissors in one hand and just rub it over the edges of your paper to have a very really teary kind of a look. So let's 
Let's adhere the paper and after the paper is done we will be placing up our shaker element. I really wanted to have a two color tone that is why I selected papers of two colors so that there is an equal balance and uh, it will automatically look very nice. Once our shaker elements are plates, let's start embellishing. This is the mini move collection motif sheet and what I normally do is whenever I'm free I cut out all the motif sheets and place it in a pack so that it is easy for me to use them whenever I need them. Uh, we would be embellishing it, embellishing our panel with these motif sheets and to give it a little depth I would be using a little piece of card cardstock. I'm sorry, the chipboard beneath each element so that uh, it gives it a little layering and it is a little more easy to look at. So embellishing is actually one of my favorite part of the project wherein all your creativity just flows in and you need to see how to place your elements so that they fit perfectly and everything gels well together. So let's do the embellishing and enjoy it. All the dyes that I am using, the floral uh, foliage dyes are from Desmai Craft and the flowers are from Prima plus I also have a few handmade flowers that I have used. These handmade flowers are used using the Desmai Craft dyes and also Desmai Craft art papers.
i hope you liked the video and the making process for this cute little panel and i hope you really enjoyed it thank you for staying with me till the end thank you